What's going on guys, Sasyata back with another tutorial for Gen 4 Pokemon hacking. Today we're going to be going over a couple of things that people have been really requesting. We're going to learn how to edit learn sets, base stats, types, and abilities. Let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to this website here, which is at Astra's GitHub page, which is where he uh, puts DSPRE. And if you want to get the most recent version, uh, you go to releases here and click on DSPRE Reloaded 1.10.1. And this is the latest stable build. And you'll click on this right here where it says DSPRE Reloaded uh, .zip. And that will go download the application. Click this little folder here and that will bring you to the file explorer. We're going to right click on this, click extract all, hit extract and we will be good to go. We have our DSP application in the most updated version. We're gonna double click on this and it might tell you that this thing's unknown publisher. It's fine, I use it all the time, just click run anyway. And we're gonna click this button up here that says open ROM. Uh, I have a lot of ROMs that I've been working on, but I'm just gonna open up uh, Heart Gold Fresh ROM and uh, I'll just do this as if I had just extracted it, for, like as if it were a brand new ROM, I'd never edited it before, so what we're going to see is the normal DSPRE setup. If you want to learn more about how to use DSPRE, I have a video on my channel specifically how to do this stuff for Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So uh, the new stuff we want to look at today is this tab right here, which is Mon Editor. This is new in this version, and there are two options, the personal data and the learn sets. So let's click on the personal data first. Personal data is basically just the information unique to every Pokemon in the game. So for instance, under Bulbasaur, I have its base stats and it's EV yields. Uh, so I can just use these uh, arrows or type in a new number. So let's say I wanna have a crazy cracked out of my mind Bulbasaur, I can go up to 255 actually. You can go up to 255 since this uses, I think eight bits for each uh, entry here. So we're obviously we're in binary, so there's a limit on what we can do. Uh, and you can, if you wanna change all your EVs, unfortunately you have to go through and zero them all out yourself. That's just, Part of the game, if you want to make a Nuzlocke-able game, usually you make it uh, zero EVs. That just takes a little while, that's alright. And you can go through your types, so if you want to have one type instead of two, just make sure they're both the same type. So if I have grass and I don't want it to have a poison type, I just make it grass grass, and the game knows to make it just a single grass type. Alright, I would avoid changing these for the most part. You can change your base EXP yield, um, but most of the time I would leave these alone and the growth curves since Game Freak has actually balanced them decently well. If you want to make your game a little bit easier on the catching side, you can change catch rate from 0 to 2. 55. For reference, Beldum and other legendaries are a catch rate of 3, which is pretty low. I like to keep my catch rates at 195. Again, this caps at, I think, 255. So if you try to type in like 300, it will just set it back to 255 since that's the max the game can take. Um, you can also change its abilities here. You can also give it a second ability, and if you catch this thing in the wild, it will just pick an ability at random. So if you want it to be the same ability, uh, you can just get rid of the second one, or you can type overgrow for both of them. Uh, you can also give held items. I believe held item one is the common item that you can find, and the item two is a rare item that it will be holding. The most important thing here is the TMs and HMs, and so obviously the ones that are on this side are all the enabled ones that it can learn, the ones that it can't are on the left, and so if I just click on, say, TM1 and click enable, it just moves it over. That's all there is to it. If you want to know what all these TMs and HMs are, you should look these up on Cerebi for your appropriate game, and there'll be a nice list of what each of these TMs are, and you can make a list and say, okay, I want this one, I'll just enable all these. Uh, there are buttons where you can add all and remove all. I'd be very careful using these because it's a hard thing to undo. So let's say I accidentally remove all of them, and I'm like, uh-oh, I there's no undo button. Never fear, as long as you haven't hit save, you're okay. We can click off Bulbasaur, go to Ivysaur, and it'll say there are unsaved changes to the current Pokemon data. Discard and proceed. Just say yes. And then it'll be on Ivysaur. Um, we can go right back to Bulbasaur, and you'll notice that all of its TMs and HMs are back. So if you run into that issue, that's a one way to undo it. You can just scroll down the list and click on whatever Pokemon you want. You can also edit the different forms of Rotom and Giratina and Deoxys and the like, which is super nice. If you want to just use the search feature, let's say I want to edit uh, Sandshrew, I can type in Sandshrew, hit tab, and boom, there it is. 
super easy. The other thing I want to look at is the learn sets editor. So this is what a lot of you have been asking for. How do I change the moves a Pokemon can learn since those uh, severely affect how the game plays? Well, there's a button for that now. Thank you to Ad Astro once again. And this has a couple of features in it. So let's just look at Bulbasaur again. Let's say I want to edit the move that's at level one. Uh, so I click on tackle. And then I click on the edit button and you'll notice it kind of grays out everything and I will be able to change either the level or the move or both. So let's say I click level two body slam. I can then hit confirm and it changes it super easy. I can also, if I want to add a move, click on these edit buttons first. So let's say I want to give this thing some crazy move like, I don't know, wood hammer at level one. I click on wood hammer, I click level one, and then instead of hitting edit, I hit add and it will order it for me and it'll put it at level one. See, wood hammer here, great. Now my Bulbasaur is cracked out of its mind. Hit save, learn set data saved successfully. I highly recommend that you make backups of your ROM before you do this because if you mess something up, you'll want to go back to an older version. And I also highly, highly, highly recommend that you document all of these first in a Google Sheets or in a text doc somewhere so that you can go back and see uh, if you've made any mistakes. If you want to learn more about making your own ROM hacks, uh, I have a whole playlist about other things you can do in editing and planning. Be sure to check those out. I will leave a link, I think, in uh, one of the corners of the screen here. So after we're all done, let's say we've done all our edits, we just click Save ROM. And we can save this as Heart Gold, Edited, or something like that, and just hit Save. Uh, thank you so much to Ad Astra for implementing this in DSPRE. Uh, this tool is absolutely amazing. If you have questions about other things in ROM hacking, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to get to them and make a tutorial out of them. It's been Sasiata. See you in the next video.